I am going to show you today a short video on how I vacuum seal my Mylar bags, and these are 7 mil, in my vacuum chamber. So if this is the first time you see me use this chamber, it's a 5 gallon vacuum chamber, chamber that I bought off of Amazon, and the link will be in my store, Amazon store, and it's connected to a Robin Air pump with quarter inch line. So I had to play around with this and I think I about got it right. I don't have my original Harvest Right impulse sealer and I think an impulse sealer would do a lot better job than my Vac Master just because you have more control of where you can put the seam. But what I've done is I have uh, filled it with my ground beef. This is ground beef, one pound of ground beef, pound and a quarter actually. And fill my quart pouch with that and put a 300cc O2 absorber in there. And then I run a heat seal using this along the very top edge. Now, what I'm going to do is take a pair of scissors, and you can see where the seam from the bag and the seam from my heat seal join in the corner there. I'm just going to nip that corner to where there's just a little bit of a. Let's see if I can get that to focus. Can you see that? Yeah, that's a good angle there. So I just nip that so the air can escape from the bag. Now I'm going to pop that in my chamber and we'll do the same for the rest of these bags. I got six bags in there. We'll put our lid on the chamber. We'll close the drain valve. Open the pump valve. Now I'm going to turn the pump on and we are going to vacuum that until the needle gets all the way around and stops moving over here. So that's the noisy part. But here we go. Okay, that needle is pegged out, and I'm going to let that run for about 30 seconds. Okay, that's been about 30 seconds, so what I'm going to do is isolate the pump and open my drain valve. And hopefully all those bags will suck in. look through the window looks good okay there you go so what I'm going to do power on my heat sealer now I'm going to put a heat seal along that where we cut bags of one and a quarter pound of ground beef cooked ready for long-term storage I hope you can see, Let's see if I... so you can see right here I put the seal along the edge so it joins this top seal that I did and this side seal that the bag actually comes manufactured with so that's got a good seal on that. And that's it. Those will go put, be put away for, who knows, ground beef, 93% lean, cooked, rinsed, or drained and rinsed and rained. I will say 10 years is a safe bet, but we'll hope for longer. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.